Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I have an idea for you for the dog days of summer. I did this sketch in my sketchbook and thought I would try it in my Bible as well. And I used it with Psalm 19, verses 7 through 8, all about being refreshed in the Lord. I thought that would be a nice image to use. And here I used the inks that I have in my fountain pen ink collection as opposed to my watercolors. And I'm going to say up front, don't go get these <laughs> to Bible journaling with. I tested it on Tomo River paper and it worked and it did not do as well on the Bible paper. So always test on your Bible paper as well, although I always test on Tomo River first. And if it doesn't work there, then I don't bother messing with it in, on the Bible paper. I've sketched out three overlapping popsicle shapes and erasing the portions inside of the first one that I'm going to paint so I don't trap any of the pencil in there. And then I'm going to paint it with the inks themselves. Again, do this with watercolor, but the blue color is super strong and I wanted to lighten it so I watered it down by putting it on a tile. The shapes of the popsicles are incredibly forgiving. So you can look some up and see what kinds of shapes there are or you can just draw lumps because some of them are round at the top and square at the bottom or square on the bottom and round on the top. They get fatter at the top and fatter at the bottom, all different sizes and shapes of different types of popsicles and just paint one. My ink is drying really fast on here and almost had some edges on the inside that dried so fast that I almost ended up with a line. So again, these inks are permanent. They don't lift which is one of the reasons I thought this would be a particularly good technique to use with them since watercolor will sometimes lift off the page when you start going over it with another color. I didn't find that it did that on my sketch on the watercolor paper. It may do that a little bit in your Bible. So if you're overlapping colors, do it very gently, just as few strokes as possible when you're crisscrossing one color over another. With something permanent like inks, you can get away with a lot more scrubbing at it to try to refine edges, etc. But just keep really simple Bible, simple strokes if you're using it in your Bible. Gosh, I can't even talk. It's so hot at my house. So once these are all finished, and I should have probably also said, make sure the first one is dry when you start painting the other so you don't get a mushy edge between the two of them. So once all of this is completely dried, then you can iron it. And you could iron it in between each phase as well, but I put a piece of paper over top and then use an iron that's kind of on the cotton setting for 10, 20 seconds at the most is about all you need. It never makes it perfect. I'll just make sure I keep repeating that all the time. No paper is going to be perfect after it's been wet because paper and water aren't really meant to go together. So I want to show you the other side of this, which is why I don't necessarily recommend using inks because you're going to get this ghosting. It's a really strong ghosting. A lot of times you'll get watercolor that'll show a little haze, but these inks are strong enough that they have a stronger ghosting. On the other side though, I can just choose a verse that's on that other page and write out the verse in that section and use that as a background. So I'm not really worried about that. I tend not to let myself get all hung up on such things. So next up is to add the pen work and I used a micron pen in order to draw the popsicle sticks underneath each one. On the sketch that you saw I used a little bit of brown paint and just painted them on so you can go either way with that quite easily and then grabbed my white pen because I love adding white pen to things and I made highlights on the top of them which you could also end up just leaving when you paint them you don't have to actually draw them back in. And I was debating whether to doodle inside of each one of the popsicles and I was gonna doodle fruits, that kind of thing, just something whimsical. And then I realized, no, I wanna put the verse in here. I was gonna write the verse out at the bottom and decided that I would choose three of the portions of verses seven through eight. And I was kind of wishing I had thought about this a little bit clearer and realized that I wanted to put the words in here because I could have put four popsicles and include all four concepts. But the words on it are, the law of the Lord is perfect and restores my soul. And the whole restoration is where I went with choosing this verse for the popsicles. The middle one is the testimony of the Lord is sure and makes wise the simple. And the third one is the precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. 
the design leaves a lot of white space and I put a lot of journaling in my Bible. So I am going to be journaling my prayers for Haiti and for Afghanistan and for people undergoing the heat wave and so many things that are on my prayer list because I know that my peace is restored. My refreshment comes from the Lord and I'm going to turn it all over to him. So I hope you enjoyed this and that you might try making some popsicles yourself. I will see you again, maybe next week. We'll see how the heat goes. If it keeps up, I may take off another week. We shall see. Have a blessed week, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.